Right, my friends, we're in Blackpool once more. It's an evening, it's night time, and you know what that means. It means beer. No, it doesn't. It actually means illuminations and fish and chips, my friends. We're now at Christmas by the Sea. Now, we came here earlier on to film the last episode, but I've got to say, at night time, it's a totally different vibe, isn't it? Yeah, it's pretty awesome around here now, isn't it? It's all this up. We've got the big rides going. We've got that ride spinning around that you've chucked me on on my own. <laughs> Do you want to go it's in all... again? No, no thanks. <laughs> <laughs> Especially after you've had that sausage. <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, we're going to have a look around because the illuminations are on and they are absolutely beautiful. And Blackpool's famous for its illuminations. I want to drop you in it here, right? I'm going to put you on the. Uh, I'm going to put you on the spot. That's it, right? How long has Blackpool Illuminations been going for? Well, I don't know the exact date, but I know that Blackpool Illuminations goes right back to the very first street lights. In fact, one of the very first street lights in the whole country, electric street lights, were the first Blackpool Illuminations. Do you know what? I thought I was actually going to get you in and put you on the spot there, but you came back with an answer. Mr. Blackpool, walk on the wild side. If you don't know who this guy is, he is Stephen and he is walk on the wild side. And if you love Blackpool, you'll love his channel. So head over and subscribe to him. His channel will be on the end and in the link down below. Now then, fish and chips, are you hungry? You've got to say yes. <laughs> Yeah, just about. Oh yeah, I'm I starving. Will be by the time we get there, <laughs> yeah, we're gonna have a wander around, a look around, look at the illuminations, and then head for fish and chips. I'm not sure where just yet. We've got a couple of places chalked up to go to. One that I've been to already, which is the cheapest fish and chips in Blackpool. If they're still open, which is Tower Fisheries, we'll go there. If not, we'll find somewhere else. Now, without further ado, my friends, let's go. Right, so let's go have a look at the uh, Blackpool Illuminations. Now, now you did say further up that way, is that towards Fleetwood Way? There's some yeah. bigger illuminations, but it's about two miles from here, is it? Yeah, about two miles further north, uh, beyond Gin Square, they have the tableau section of the illuminations where they have the big, massive, big, big displays. Have you done them on your channel? Um, well, I don't think I've actually shown them. I've, I've done a, I did the Ride the Lights where they close the promenade and everyone's able to ride the promenade on the bike um, when they open the illumination. So I've done that. So I'll probably send them on there. Right. But, um, so, so head over to his channel, have a look at them, because we're not walking two miles. It's so quite a long go, way. <laughs> yeah, we're going to go down this way, down the Golden Mile, and have a look at the illuminations there that look fantastic. It really does look amazing. So let's take a look, and then we'll head off for fish and chips. So stay with us. Don't just don't just fast forward to them fish and chips. Come on onwards.
Right, I'm going to be a bit lazy here because we're walking south, am I right? We're walking south, yeah. We're walking south and Pablo's chip is down here. Now, I said we were going to go to Tower Fisheries, but Tower Fisheries is back that way. We don't know. It says it's open, so I don't know, and it's a fantastic fish and chip shop. But we've been there before, so I said, why don't we just walk down this way, look at all the illuminations, and give Pablo's a go. And they're famous for their ice cream as well, you know. They are. They've got, like, I think they've got about 20... I don't know, 27 different flavours of ice cream. I tried it once in a video, yeah? Yeah. I tried about five different flavours in one. <laughs> <laughs> They've got some strange ones as well. So we're going to head down there, have a look at the illuminations and finish off at Pablo's because uh, I don't want to walk all the way back there because, I mean, don't want to walk too many calories off, do you? No, it's it's not like we've not had a lot to eat today. No, not really. <laughs> anyway, come on, onwards my friends. It's kicking off in Blackpool. <laughs> <laughs> There you go, you've got the cod mother there. So the cod father's up there, we've got the cod mother. But Pablo's does actually get a really, really good uh, review and a good write-up on TripAdvisor, doesn't it? So Yeah, pa that's... Pablo's has been going a really long time. I remember my granddad used to take us to Pablo's uh, back in the 70s. Yeah, yeah. What was the ice cream like when you tried it? It's always been really good, the ice cream. You know, it's always been, oh yeah, Pablo's, got to go for Pablo's ice cream, you know, in Blackpool. Um, Have you got room for ice cream tonight? <laughs> I don't know about that. <laughs> <laughs> we've done everything today. We've done. We've packed three videos in today because we've done the. Uh, we did the weather spoons, the Christmas uh, dinner. Then we did the uh, German sausage. Now we're doing fish and chips. <laughs> Breakfast in the morning. Yeah. There we go. Excellent. <laughs> and then, and then what we might do is head off to the street market, which is called... The Abingdon Street uh, Market, which has been turned into a massive like food hall where they have like street food in there. And it's really, really good. I think we'll be checking that out. Tomorrow. Indian food, Chinese food. Yeah, it's everything, yeah. Ooh, sounds good to me. I'll leave some room after breakfast. Right, come on, onwards. Right, Sooty. Now then, you're going to tell us a little bit about this because we've got Sooty and Sweep and Sue up there. Well, I used to watch when I was a kid, and I think it was a crossover because it was Harry H. Corbett. Was it Harry Corbett or Harry H. Corbett? Harry, Harry Corbett. Harry Corbett, because Harry H. Corbett was the one in... Was he the one in... Uh, what's the other one? You've got Harry Corbett. What was it called? <laughs> Steptoe and Son. Oh, yeah, come yeah. On. One of them was Harry... <laughs> well, one of them had to put an H in the name because... The other one was with Sutty. I think he was yeah, Harry H. Yeah, Corbett. Yeah, yeah. Pop it in the comment section down below. Then it went to Matthew Corbett, which was his son. Yeah. yeah. Now it's gone to some other gentleman. <laughs> However, you were telling me, where did uh, Harry Corbett acquire Sutty? Well, yeah, I was a big fan of the Sutty show. And uh, I found out uh, a little while back that Harry H. Corbett, he was the original who introduced Sutty. He actually bought the puppet on the Blackpool North Pier. Is that why yes. it's renowned here then? Because you've got Sooty and Sweep and Sue on the illuminations all the time. Yeah, Is yeah. That the, so that's because so of the if connection. You go, if you go to the Joe Longthorne Theatre on the North Peak, go right down there, you can see all the information on there, how he bought the, bought the puppet on there and made it into a national star. There you go. Not a lot of people know that, as Michael Caine says. Come on, onwards, my friends. Oh! 
I tell you what, this is getting harder and harder each time we bend down to camera. <laughs> it is a bit. <laughs> I think I should get a, a taller tripod rather than a miniature one. Anyway, here we are at Pablo's Fish and Chips in Blackpool. Hope you enjoyed the illuminations there, a little walk. A walk along the Golden Mile. Now we're going to head inside. We're going to have fish, chips, mushy peas, curry sauce. And are you having curry sauce? Do you have mushy peas and curry uh, sauce? I think I'll just have the mushy peas. I'm not that, really. You're not into the curry sauce? No, not really. Now then, bit of a question for you there, because it's got Vimto on the menu there, right? Oh, hands Vimto. Right there. Vimto on the menu there. That really, I always say, is a poor man's Ribena. What do you reckon? Yeah, probably. Yeah? Yeah. It reminds yeah. me of being a kid. My mum always used to get sort of like Vimto, but the diluted version, and put it behind the curtain in the kitchen, and I'd find it and I'd have it. But it was all right, but it ain't no Ribena, is it? Anyway, we're going to head on in there, so I'm just going to stop waffling. Are you hungry? Um, yeah, I am now. I've We've been walking around quite a, bit. around for quite a bit. Let's get in there and we're going to mark this out of 10. You guys are going to mark it out of 10 as well on looks and on price, of course. And now our facial expressions, which, if they're nice, will be, ooh, can you do that? Ooh. And if they're not nice, you're going to go, ooh. <laughs> I'm sure they'll be nice. It's supposed to be really good. Let's get in there. Come on. I don't know if I can get up. Come on. <laughs> Right, okay, here we are inside Pablo's. Now we've ordered fish and chips twice. We've ordered two mushy peas, one curry sauce. You have had a Vimto. Do you, I mean, what's all that about? Just, what we just said about Vimto. Like Vimto. He likes Vimto. Do you know what I've had? I've had iron brew made in Scotland from Godus. So I'm looking forward to this. You can order on the machines there uh, and do self-service. I've liked to go on old school though and order at the counter with these gentlemen behind here because it's like when you go into supermarkets, Morrison's, Asda, everything's self-service. If I wanted to be a checkout assistant, I'd have been one. I want to order. I want interaction with people and having a bit of a laugh. So anyway, looking forward to this. Don't forget, we're going to mark it out of 10. Take your Vimto. Go and sit down, Stephen. Shame. <laughs> Right, okay, so it's quite big in here, isn't it? I've never actually envisaged it to be this big inside, um, yeah. which is, and it's really nice. It's got some nice booths in here as well. You get a number there, which we've got number 25, uh, which comes upon the board, and when it's ready, uh, then we head over and get it. It came to 28.88, I believe, um, which was with the Iron Brew and the Vimto, say no more. Uh, and uh, <laughs> tastes a bit like Coca Cola, actually. <laughs> <laughs> uh, anyway, Vimto, uh, I've got the Iron Brew. I am looking forward to this. We are going to mark it out of 10. I do like it in here. Is the ice cream on at the moment? I've not seen any ice cream. Um, well, the ice cream, they tend to do that outside in the, uh, they've got like a little uh, trailer. Ah, over in the trailer outside. And how many different choices of ice cream are there? It's 22. 22, 22 different, different choice flavors, flavors yeah. of ice cream yeah, yeah. well you've done that on your channel we're going to come back again i think and try every flavor later every on flavor. next summer so well, they don't do coffee because i can oh, do coffee ice cream or coffee properly i'm not into know. that but it's like revels isn't it because <laughs> oh i used to put them to one side oh, yeah the coffee ones they play a game with revels who gets <laughs> who gets the <laughs> coffee revel oh the horrible <laughs> it's like oh i've got a coffee <laughs> one and i love coffee but a coffee revel or anything yeah. coffee to me does not work i don't know about you well you said that so well, unless uh, it's real here coffee. we go oh look at this Ooh, look at chips. That. can wow. i get any sauces uh ketchup and some tartar yeah, please no problem. Uh, i tell you what the peas look good already uh they're not too fluorescent uh, we've got the fish there it's been cooked fresh i've also got the curry sauce so before we go any further take a closer look my friends Right, okay, so now the best bit, and I've brought them back by popular request, is the thumbnail part, which I'm gonna keep in. 
So, Stephen, are you ready for your thumbnail? So, okay, hold it up. Can, can you get your piece as well? This feels really heavy, by the way. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> and we need a... Oh. Oh. Now, oh. can you give, it, give me a bit more of oh. 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 Go, oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Now look upwards and go... Oh. Oh. <laughs> a bit more of a oh. <laughs> right here we go i'll hold my curry sauce up on mine i'll just go oh look at that <laughs> do you want me to do it as well oh oh yeah oh Ooh. Why do people do that? I don't know why YouTubers do that. They go, oh, as if it's some kind of shock. <laughs> right, okay, so we've got ketchup, which is Heinz there. We've also got Heinz tartar sauce with these twisty ones, the squeeze me ones. So I'm going to twist that off. Uh, and this is a little bit, uh, a little bit more refined than the ones where you get it all over your hand. Pop it on the side there like that. There we go, a bit, bit of tartar sauce on there, on the side. Uh, I think first things first, we'll go in for the mushy peas. The mushy pea test. Now then, these are not too fluorescent, as I say. So we should go in for the mushy peas. There we go. Very nice mushy peas. Cut into the fish here. Okay. There we go. There's your fish. Smells very nice, I have to say. Oh, very hot, extremely hot. Right, mmm. Very nice though, butter's crispy, nice and light. Going for a chip here as well. That's a nice chip. Good golden color on the outer there. Nice and fluffy on the inner. Very good, right. Now we'll try curry sauce, okay. See whether it's got a bit of a kick to it. That, very good, very good. Right, gonna spark open the iron brew. Do you know what? I reckon I should be given honorary Scottish citizenship, seeing as I'm half Scottish already. And I drink iron brew all the time. Big advocate for iron brew. Tell you what I haven't put on though. Have you put any salt and vinegar on there, Stephen? Good. Uh, I have put some salt and vinegar on, yeah. Right, I'm going to put some salt and vinegar on. I always say salt, salt, uh, salt, first. salt first. Well, then the vinegar washes it up, off, apparently, but you could go both ways there and put salt, vinegar, and then salt on again or whatever. Put plenty of vinegar on there. You've got to get plenty of vinegar on there. It's leaking, I think, that is. Got, I'm going to stink of vinegar now. <laughs> Here we go. Right. Put a bit more salt on it as well. Going to go for it. Right, there we go. I shall eat this then. Don't forget, we're going to mark it out of 10. And you guys are going to mark it out of 10 as well on looks and on cost. And our facial expressions. Let's have a look what Stephen's facial expression is like. Stop the music right there a minute because um, I um, I got battery on me there <laughs> because I, I was eating the other week and I was eating the fish with my fingers and somebody went oh what are you doing that's just totally wrong you should use a knife and fork my dad actually used to eat his fish and chips with his fingers all the time and he went that is the best way and they taste better I'm I mean I do use a knife and fork but I have to say there is something about just picking your food up. I'm just eating with it, you know what I mean? Just getting it in there. Mm. Beautiful.
I put it on a table down there. I said, can you bend down? He went, oh, I don't think you need, I don't want to bend down. I've done, done enough bending down today. <laughs> I'm eating, so. Uh, right, let's get down to business. Um, it was excellent fish and chips, I have to say. The batter was nice and crispy, very light, not too greasy, no skin on the fish. Peas weren't fluorescent, you couldn't see them from outer space. <laughs> Curry was, uh, got a little bit of a kick to it. Very clean inside, uh, lovely and comfortable in there as well. Nice seating, etc. nice booths. Staff was great. I'm going to say hi to Ben, who served us in there. Um, I'm going to give an honest review. Um, it's ideally located here. Um, they've got great ice cream on in the summer. It's a very, very popular fish and chip shop. You've been to it when you was a child as well. Yeah, we used to come here years ago, going back to the 70s. My granddad used to come to Pablo's, yeah, yeah. So it goes back a long way. Yeah. So I'm going to go. I, I'm going to say it was excellent. There's a couple of bad, there was one bad chip that I had in it, which you might have seen on the outro when I put the thing down. But you're going to get that at this time of year. It's kind of a strange kind of year when you get the different uh, different potatoes. Anyway, um, I'm going to say price-wise, if you've got a family, but then again, fish and chips at the moment aren't cheap, are they? Not that's, cheap, no. They're not, they're, not, they're not cheap. I'm going to say it wasn't the cheapest, but then again, it's difficult to try and find cheap fish and chips these days. I, I enjoyed them thoroughly. I, I, yeah, recommend it. If you're on the seafront, come to them. I'm going to go 8.8. 8. Point... That's not a bad score. That's, a good score. Oh, that's pretty good, that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. What? Well, not my, my score, is Yeah, go on then. Um, I'm going to go 8 point, drum roll, <laughs> 8.5. Oh, 8.5, yeah, yeah. okay. And the reason being? Yeah. Well, I, I think the, the chips are really, really good. And I think the, the actual, the, the, the cafe itself, the restaurant is, is brilliant. Beautiful. It's just Beautiful. that price, you know, it's just a little bit, it's just quite a bit, I think. Um, a little bit pricey, maybe, you know, for what you get, but... Yeah. Um, but I'd recommend uh, but There you go. I mean, we are on the promenade, so I think there is a bit of a premium, I suppose, for on the promenade, isn't there? Yeah. Yeah. And I have to say again, very comfortable. Lots of good seating outside mm. as well. Plenty for in of seating summer. outside, yeah. Plenty yeah. of seating outside in summer. All the ice creams that you can choose from as well. I'd recommend it. Come and try it for yourself. Uh, and uh, yeah, there we go, Pablo. So it's right here by the South Pier. <laughs> right here by the South Pier. Try it for yourself, or if you've been, let us know what you think in the comment section down below. Do you want to go and try that one over the road now? <laughs> <laughs> you've got a bit of a belly going on there. You were you were stick thin this morning. <laughs> He's done all this eating with me today. Anyway, don't forget subscribe to this guy, Stephen. Walk on the wild side. He is Mr. Blackpool. If you love Blackpool and you've enjoyed these Blackpool videos, there are a couple more coming, which we're going to get you on tomorrow. Will you join me for breakfast? Um, yeah, if this has all gone down by then. <laughs> <laughs> and then we'll go for lunch. Yeah. Anyway, I'll put his channel on the end and also the link in the description down below. If you haven't subscribed to me, please do so. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye-bye. Do you want a, any dessert or anything? Stick yeah. it off and put it more. No, stick it up. Yeah.